mentioned Tyson Fury. You shared camp with him. You've sparred Tyson Fury. And he is at the, the top of the tree in the heavyweight division. Just talk to me about your time with Tyson, your experiences, what you've learned from him. Oh, well, I've learned quite a bit. I mean, I've, I've said this before, maybe like once. The biggest thing I could take from Tyson Fury is when he, he, when he, all right, so everyone knows that styles make fights, okay? But when I, when I watch him, I'm like, you know, he kind of, well, he does have like almost every style. You know what I mean? Like he can adjust, like he's a complete fighter. But what also makes him special is he can switch up his style within a round. So you might see like two or three boxing styles inside of one round. So it's like, yo, how do you really prepare for that? And then, you know, from what I grasped was, he's extremely fundamental. He's always sharpening his fundamentals, his basics. You know, you, you may see different types of, uh, of fighting techniques in there, but when it comes to the fundamentals, he's always sharpening them. Back to the jab, perfect jab, over and over again, perfect footwork, step in, step out, constant repetition, right hand, straight right hand, just practicing all of the stuff. Sometimes he just comes in and he just likes to, he can just do 12 rounds like it's nothing. And it's like, Wow. So the biggest thing I take from that is always work on your fundamentals. You mentioned he can switch his styles up two, three times, in a, even in a round. In a round. People who don't know, people who haven't boxed, how hard is that to do? It's extremely hard. Most fighters have one set way of fighting to begin with. Like when you go, a lot of times you fight a guy, he's going to fight you the same way throughout the entire fight. But Tyson Fury is fighting you like three or four different ways in one round. So inside of that three minutes, you're seeing about two to three different approaches of his attack. So it's just like, your mind is blown. Like, okay, how is he coming at me this time? Now you gotta think about what he's gonna do, how he's gonna fight you, and then how you gonna fight him and you can kind of really get confused very fast. But like I said, it's extremely hard. That is why he's at the top. But I, no matter what, I still say stick to your fundamentals. And again, that's what I got from him as well. And then you can really become creative. So that's what I'm looking at.